Hello! In this video I will show you how to make a cool wallpaper in GIMP 2.8. And it's going to look like this. Open GIMP and make a new file 1200 by 800 pixels in horizontal position. Take Blend tool and fill your background with black color. Next create a new transparent layer. Now I'm going to show you the brush I'm going to use for this tutorial. It can be easily created just in a couple of minutes. Previously I made a tutorial on how to create a star brush. The link should now appear on the screen. To make this brush I use the same technique. So have a look at the video first. Set your foreground color to red. And now let's the make settings for this brush. The size should be set to 330. Dynamics should be set to random. Apply Jitter to 25. And now you can fill your transparent layer with this kind of abstract random lines. Just click in different places to cover it more or less everywhere. Now create another transparent layer. Change your foreground color to bright green. Reduce the size of the brush to 280. And cover the top and the bottom of the canvas in green lines. The middle should be left transparent. Create a new transparent layer. Set your foreground color to light blue. And increase the size of the brush to 440. Now fill the middle of the image with the blue lines. Create a new transparent layer. Set your foreground color to yellow. Reduce the size of the brush to 125. And cover the whole canvas in yellow lines. Switch off visibility of yellow, blue and green layers. Select the layer with red lines. And go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. Set the blur type to zoom, deselect blur at word and length should be set to 40. Go to filters and click repeat motion blur. Now duplicate the red layer. Switch on the green layer. Go to filters, repeat motion blur. Then do this step once more. Switch on the blue layer. Go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. Select Blur Outward and press OK. Go to Filters, Repeat Motion Blur. Switch on and select the layer with yellow lines. Go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. Change the Blur type to Radial and press OK. Go 
Go to Filters and click Repeat Motion Blur. Select the green layer, set this layer to hard light and duplicate the layer. Next select the blue layer, set the layer to grain merge and duplicate the layer. And the finally select the yellow layer, set it to hard light and duplicate it. Create a new transparent layer at the top of all the layers. Set your foreground color to yellow, take Blend tool, set gradient foreground to transparency, shape to radial, repeat to none. Set the transparent layer to overlay and now create yellow patches on the canvas by pulling small gradients in different places. It will help us to make the colors pop. Change the foreground color to blue and do the same thing. Do it until you feel that there is enough blue color on your image. Now change the foreground color to bright green and keep on adding the spots of light to the image. Change the foreground color to red and next I'm sure you know what to do. Now our image really has a feeling of motion and this is what I was after. Keep on adding the red spots until you feel that it's enough. Select the layer with yellow and duplicate it because I feel there is not enough of yellow color. Select the very top layer and then create a new transparent layer. Now go to Image, Guides, New Guide by Percent. Direction should be horizontal and press OK. Repeat this step by creating a new guide but change the direction to vertical. Now take the Ellipse Select tool, expand from the center and fix for the aspect ratio should be selected. Pull a selection from the center the way you see on the screen. Set the foreground color to white, then take back a tool and fill the selection with white. Go to Select, Select None. Reduce the opacity of this layer to about 50%. It's not really necessary to do the next step, but if you want, you can do it. Go to Script Foo, Layer Effects in a Glow. Keep the settings at default and press OK. Create a new transparent layer. Take Rectangular Select tool and make sure that you have ticked Expand from Center. Then create a Rectangular Selection the way you see on the screen. Take back a tool and fill it with white. Go to Select, Select None. Take Text tool and create selection on the white part of the image. Then set your foreground color to black. A 
forgot to tell you which font I'm gonna use. It's called Alien Encounters. And the size is set to 37 pixels. Also, space between the letters should be set to 1. Now I'm going to type the text and it's called Dance of Light. To put the text precisely in the middle of the image, we need to auto-crop the layer with text. So go to Layer, auto-crop the layer. Then take the Move tool and put your text right in the middle. The guide should help you to keep it in place. Right-click on the layer with text, Alpha to Selection. Next, select the layer with white rectangle, then go to Edit, Cut. Repeat the same for the layer with circle. Go to Select, Select None. Select the layer with text and set this layer to Grain Merge. This way the color is going to be visible through the text. Now go to Image, Flatten Image. Now I'm going to switch off the guides to have a better view. And as a final step I want to increase the sharpness of the image. And to do this I'm gonna use High Pass Filter. I'm going to FX Foundry, Photo, Sharpen, High Pass Filter. And I'm not going to change any settings here. I just want to reduce the opacity of the sharpened layer to about 30% and then I'm going to Image, Flatten Image. Now I'm zooming in to give you a closer look. And I hope that you learned something new today with me. Thanks for watching and leave a comment if you liked it.